It's the most wonderful time of the year. This is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> yes, people, it's that time of the year again. It's the time of the year when we all get together and celebrate the winter holidays. It's that time of the year when, for some reason, we give each other presents, force ourselves to spend an entire day with our families, and eat and drink a lot. Oh yeah, and we also watch Christmas-themed movies. So, James asked me to come up with my favourite Christmas movie of all time, and you know what? That was not an easy thing to do, because I do love Christmas movies. But there's one movie that I like to watch at Christmas more than any other, and that is Die Hard. Yes, I'm a massive cliché. And there might be some people out there thinking that this is a slightly controversial choice. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie! And I'm sure that many of you are screaming right now, but it's not a Christmas movie! It's a goddamn Bruce Willis movie! But let me tell you why it is. The movie's set at Christmas time, therefore it's a Christmas movie. Get over it and move on. The reason why I love Die Hard so much is because it's just a terrific action movie and one that never really gets old. Bruce Willis has never been so good and the film has one of the best villains of all time in Alan Rickman's threatening yet also playful Hans Gruber. Nice suit. It's also a film that has many, and I mean many, iconic lines. Yippee Kaye, Melon Farmers, welcome to the party pal, we're gonna need some more FBI guys I guess, now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, Willis's McLean is literally a one-liner machine. That's the other thing that I love about this movie, Bruce Willis's stoic John McLean. He's a character that has a tough outer shell, but still has that little glint in his eye, and you can tell he has a really great sense of humor. I can live with that. The story is a pretty simple one. The whole movie is set in a high-rise office building. McLean's estranged wife and several others are taken hostage by German terrorists during a Christmas party, and it's up to McLean to save them. I honestly think that this movie was kind of game-changing for the action movie genre. Die Hard started a subgenre within the action movie genre, and it should be noted that not a single film since 1988's Die Hard has come close. Not even Die Hard's subsequent sequels, which have all been, well, a bit terrible. Yippee-ki-yay, well, you know the rest. Owen, oh, Merry Christmas.